I totally get feeling helpless when you feel like you've tried everything but nothing seems to work. I assure you this is super normal and a lot of people struggle with this exact problem. But I found it's actually not the whole story. The whole story has been a lot of probably scattered and desperate attempts to try to lose weight, try to get in shape, but not a lot of consistency in trying to do the same thing over time because it's super easy to give up when you don't see results right away. And despite a lot of gimmicks out there and programs that promise really fast weight loss, really weight loss is the result of a lifestyle change over time and doing it consistently and that's just the best way to go about it. It's not always quick, it's not always predictable, and it's not always easy, but if you stick to a program and you stick to that plan, it will work eventually. I promise you. I've done it myself many times. I've helped my clients through it many, many times. In fact, even if you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, it's possible to even gain some weight. And I've had some clients get really frustrated with this at times because they see that they start to gain weight. But then once I remind them to stick with it, they wind up losing that weight and remembering how silly they were for worrying about that those few pounds right in the beginning. I've personally also worked my my butt off for five weeks in a row of eating right, training every day, getting my steps in, making sure I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing, and my weight didn't budge for five weeks. After that five weeks though, everything changed, and my body got used to this new change, and everything turned around, and I was able to lose the weight I was looking for, reduce my body fat percentage, and increase my lean muscle. You just have to find a good plan, stick to that plan, and be consistent. This is also why it's super important to pay attention to other indicators than the scale. The scale can be very, very misleading. It can ruin your day if you don't lose the weight that you think you should lose. And there are so many reasons that cause your weight to fluctuate that putting all of your faith in losing those pounds on the scale is going to set you up for disappointment. Other ways you can monitor your progress are how your clothes are fitting, how you feel you look in the mirror, your energy levels, any reduction in inflammation you might be having. I've had clients that are really bummed that they're not losing any weight, but are like, but hey, I'm fitting into these jeans that I haven't fit into in years years and I can't believe it. So it's like this balance where you have to forget that it's all about the weight and remember that it's all about actually being a healthy person and all the stuff that that encompasses. In fact, if you're weightlifting, you're going to start turning that extra weight into lean muscle. So you might actually gain some weight either from the inflammation from that workout or from lean muscle growth. And that weight is going to look different on the scale. Even though you look nice and toned in the mirror, it's going to be the same number on the scale possibly. And that's okay. Also, if you're lifting weights, is your strength increasing? Are you able to lift heavier weights? This is one of my favorite indicators because it's showing me that not, not only am I getting stronger, but I'm also growing muscle in order to become stronger. The more muscle I grow, the more calories I burn in a day, and the more my body fat percentage goes down. And if you feel like you've plateaued and you're not gaining the strength, I have a video on what to do if you've plateaued that you can check out as well that I'll link to. This whole thing is just a process of finding this healthy lifestyle that is satisfying and makes you feel good about yourself. That's really all we're looking for. And so if you're focusing so so much on the scale and that doesn't make you feel good about yourself even if you have all these other indicators that are going well I recommend taking a break from the scale and focusing on other indicators like progress picks is another one and really the sad truth is the more stress you put on yourself to lose the weight the harder it's gonna be and if you do eventually lose some weight you're not gonna enjoy it as much it's not gonna be as fulfilling and you're not gonna be as happy with how you look and what you've achieved so my best advice is to follow a program stick to it don't try something for two weeks and then give up. Stay true to something. Trust the process. Enjoy the journey. Find a way that you're not doing something that you absolutely hate just to lose weight because once you lose that weight, if you're able to, you're going to go straight back to the lifestyle that you enjoy better. If you can find a lifestyle that you enjoy, then that weight is just going to go away naturally and you're going to feel great about yourself. My personal approach is using intermittent fasting to limit my eating windows, following a healthy nutritious lifestyle with clean-ish foods, and having a regular exercise routine with weightlifting and also getting daily steps. It's really simple if you don't complicate things. And I would recommend finding a good program or a plan, sticking to it for at least four weeks, if not six to eight. After that point, if you don't have any of those indicators, then maybe there's something to change. But if you're not sticking to it for that time frame, there's really no way to assess whether or not that it's working. It's really in that consistency that you find the results you're looking for. Trust in yourself and trust in the process. You know, sometimes it's really hard for me to believe 
believe that I was a shy, overweight person who had no confidence in herself and felt like she had tried everything and just had been resigned to being overweight for the rest of her life. But that girl decided to focus on herself, focus on no longer hiding, and focus on making herself better emotionally, physically, and each day doing something to be better than yesterday. She leaned into her strengths and each day, over time, being consistent to get to where she is today. And I'm not done yet. This is just another step for me as well. We're all just somewhere along this healthy journey and it just is up to us to find a way that works for us to be successful. If you need some help, check out my 30 Day Healthy program. I have meal plans, I have motivational emails, and I'm there for you to help you get started because I know we're all along this journey and I'm here to help. I'll see you in the next video.